Hi everypony, this is Clear Heart Apple and I'm doing uh, another video after it's been a little while. Needless to say, um, time had to take off from putting videos up for other reasons. Now today, this video is not going to be about blind bags. It's not going to be about brushes. And it's not going to be about McDonald's toys. Now there is a reason I've put those up there. And that's for scale. What I'm going to be looking at today, and hopefully um, I haven't spoiled the surprise, is actually these. Um, the pony toys that have come with the magazines in the UK. And uh, as you can see... They are slightly bigger, or a good bit bigger than normal blind bags. Um, trust me, there are. There is one I know of that is comparable in scale, but maybe not sort of sculpt to um, these ponies. What you're looking at now is the very first of them that has been released, being Pinkie Pie. And... Um, yeah, you can see uh, how different the scale is here. <laughs> yeah, she's sort of midway between a blind bag and a McDonald's toy. This McDonald's toy being the original rarity toy. Uh, you know, from the very first wave of McDonald's toys of My Little Pony that were released. But... I'll take those away because we're not looking at her or him. This is Pinkie Pie and um, yeah, as you can see, oh my hairy hands are low. Um, she is well sculpted and uh, you might not be able to see it here, but the, right here on the hoof, there she is uh, an official Hasbro thing because it's copyright Hasbro there. I think these have been made specifically for the, ma the magazine, of course. Um, Cutie Mark, which is absolutely accurate. Um, her sort of her tail, the way they've interpreted it, uh, interpreted it um, realized it. Oh god, I'm flubbing everything today. Um, is like curls and actually looks quite good. Of course, no uh, kitty mark on this side, akin to most of the toys, of course. Um, and as you can see here from the front, and hopefully you, there's enough light there. And zoom in. You can see both her eyes. Bright blue, hopefully that's coming across, and of course that's how she looks from the side. Now, thus far there have been at least three of these figures that have been released. You have Pinkie Pie here, this is it, and I'll set her over to the side for the second. The second being um, Twilight Sparkle in her original form. In the pre Alcorn Princess, and um, no, I'll not go into this w the episode that just aired, which was the season finale of season four. See it at, and be amazed. Um, yeah, you have her cutie mark, and um, yes, her tail's done quite well. Nice paint scheme all around, no, no sloppy paint on it at all. Um, which is bizarre for something that <clears throat> isn't in the mass market, I suppose. As you can see, no kitty mark there. Her horn is actually quite a nice one. Um, from the front, let's turn around a wee bit. And focus. Yeah, generally, or genuinely a nice figure. And the latest one to be released, and depending on when you're watching this, um, 
might still be in the sh shops. Like News Agents, W. H. Smith. You know the usual places over here in the UK you can get magazines. The latest one was Applejack. Yes, without a hat. And um, as you'll see from the fr front, uh, two ponytails, but she does look really good like that. Really cute. Orange is always on the, you know, green eyes and blah, 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 blah. Um, of course, the side view, you got your cutie mark right there. And her tail, which is... I think it's, those are all separate pieces, like the tail pieces, the hair pieces. Of course, you, up there you can see the sort of join. And, um, yep, right. I think it's the same hoof on all of them. Uh, there's the ha copyright Hasbro right there. And just to show you... Um, she doesn't have a cutie mark either. None of them have cutie marks there, but she does have the dimples, or little dimples, you know. Sort of um triangle of dimples right there. Which is a really nice touch. And as missing as some of the other figures they've got, the brushables notably. But yeah, that is all the figures that have been released so far. And I'll pull up a wee bit. Uh, if you can um, get them online, try to get them at a reasonable price because I know there are going to be some people who have probably scalped these things and really charged an awful lot more because the magazine is roughly about three, four pounds here which well, it's good for what you're getting you're getting recipes puzzles um well s stories they put in there but that's really the episode recapped in a way um i did say earlier there was some of the blind bags that these are comparable in height to and um that would be sakura the only one I've seen that is sort of um, in scale with these figures, and as you can see there, yeah, she doesn't look out of place. Um, of course, that's a core coming from the set. I think, it was, was it the Spa Friends set? I'm not sure which one it was, because it was quite a while ago that I bought the set that had Sakura in it. But, um, yeah... If you can find the, any of these figures, and I mean the UK exclusive ones, um, pick them up as soon as you can. And give the magazine a read as well, because it's, um, it's worth a read. And as stated, this is Clearheart Apple signing out, saying I'll catch you guys later.